about you One plus one ain't always two When you're not the top every day Take me round and round this random bridge Just falling down Just drunk of an If you have structured payments, but you need cash now, call J. G. Wentworth, 877 cash now. I want to pre order a PS5 right now. I want to pre order an Xbox Series X right now. I want to pre-order the Sony Pulse 3D wireless headset right now. I want to pre-order all the things that matter in the next-gen console era right now. Y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> What's well, good in the hood, everybody? It's your girl, Allie A. Happy hump day. Wherever you're located on planet Earth, you're tuning into a brand new episode of Two Hoes and a Console. Someone asked me late, late, late last night about the name. It rhymes. There's, there's nothing risque about it. You know, he was like, are you doing it for clickbait? I'm like, no, it rhymed and I liked it. Only thing risque you'll see on this channel is me outing eBay scalpers trying to flip PS5s for $35,000. It's not happening. But <laughs> I appreciate you all tuning in. We are live on Twitch. We are also live on YouTube. Feel free to comment in the chats. And uh, I'll try to make sure um, to get things going. Scraggly Rock, what's good in the hood on YouTube? Yes, we will be talking about the gameplay for Spider-Man. We will actually be watching that gameplay. I appreciate you bringing that up. However, a ho tried to tell y'all. We talked about this Monday. I was spilling the tea. The question is, were you taking notes? I said, I said, what's the first thing I said? Okay. I said the Pulse 3D wireless headset, which was available for purchase, right? It was available for purchase on Ant Online. And I know people, we're going to talk about Ant Online. 
we're, we're going we're gonna to talk about that debacle for schmackle, okay? The Pulse 3D headset didn't make it past midnight. I had people replying to me on Twitter talking about, thank you so much, I got one, thank you so much, I secured the pre-order. I'm just trying to share the wealth and spread the knowledge. Do the Lord's work, if you will, okay? What did I say? I said, if you wanted the Pulse 3D headset, don't wait, because it will not make it past midnight. And honest to God, real talk, I don't know why they allowed that specific pre-order to happen. You know, they we know good and well everybody, um, everybody was what was was ready and prepping for the rounds of pre-orders on their website. But they had the Pulse 3D headset available. They were actually the only place, the only retailer that had it for pre-order were the the purchase order confirmed, everything completed, no cancellations. I have yet to receive a cancellation for that Pulse 3D headset. And what happened before midnight, we're talking Monday evening when I was on the stream, I was like, call your cousins and tell your, tell your kinfolk that the Pulse 3D headset is in stock for, a port, for purchase, shipping November 12th. I said it would make it past midnight. I said it would make it past midnight. That's what I said. I said, don't be like Cinderella and wait for the clock to strike 12 because guess what? That pumpkin carrot's is going to turn back into them rats. Okay? I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. Straggly Rock on YouTube. Headset goes live randomly at Best Buy every day. It's hard to check out. Yeah, um, they're having, Best Buy is having the same issue that Target was having when Target would randomly have the consoles available and it's like you could hit the pre-order button but it wouldn't let you completely check out. It's the same thing. I was actually, we're going to talk about Best Buy in a moment too because I had a 15-minute phone conversation with my inside source at Best Buy, a high-ranking inside source at Best Buy, not some intern who's training as a seasonal worker for the holidays coming up. Someone who's actually on salary. Okay, we'll just put it like that. No offense. Shout out to everybody working at Best Buy. I'm just, you know, I'm just keeping it real, okay? But I said they would sell out. And, and sure enough, and, and a, a part of this is Ant Online's so fault. A lot of people have mixed reviews on Ant Online, but this is the era in which we are residing. You have to take that risk because you have to remember in the era of COVID, the banks, the creditors, we will assume, we're going to assume positive intent. We will assume that they are on your side. Meaning, if you tried to pre-order from somewhere and the pre-order went left or the pre-order went badly, you could just reach out to your creditor, reach out to PayPal if you're paying with PayPal, file a dispute, get your money back. It might take a little bit of time, but all roads lead to positivity in the end, which is the right resolution for you. Um, let me know in the chat if you secured a pre-order from Ant Online. I tried with all my might at, within 10 minutes till the top of the hour at 11 o'clock. So like 10.50 Pacific time, it was just, it was a complete and utter shit jam. The, the website was constantly crashing. And I didn't even find anyone online who secured a pre-order. And that's PlayStation or Xbox because we talked about that Monday as well. You weren't just dealing with PlayStation traffic. You were also dealing with Xbox traffic. I, I, I thought it was the dumbest idea on God's green earth to try to have PS5 and Xbox pre-orders launch on the same day at the same time. The U.S.-based company, we looked up the career's website address. They're based in Atlanta, Georgia, right? If you're, if you're in the States, that should at the very least help you feel safe. Um, but it's, it's hard out here for a pimp. It's real hard. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, it, it's just, it, and now if you go to Ann Online, it's, it's nothing but bundles, Right? 
Let me see if I could pull it up. See, I worked. See, see what happens. I had I had a little bit of time before the stream so I could make the proper adjustments. <laughs> Every time OBS does an update, you got to fix a source, but it's fine. So if we're looking right here, right? If we're looking, they only have three bundles now. They had six, maybe seven bundles to choose from when they did the pre-order. Now they only got three. And guess what? They're all sold out. And the best bundles are not even options. They had a wonderful bundle option, which was the option I was trying to go for. They had a, it was the digital edition PS5. It was an extra controller. It was the DualSense charging station and a year of PlayStation Plus. And I think it came out to about like 549 or 559. That was the bundle I was going for. I didn't need anything else. If, I, if it wasn't that bundle, this bundle is actually a pretty darn good bundle. The digital PS5, the Pulse 3D headset, a year's worth of PlayStation Plus, uh, a spare DualSense controller, and the charging station. That's a good bundle, right? I always try to aim for bundles that make the most sense, but at the end of the day, if you, if you ended up securing it, congratulations to you. I surely did not. Straggly on YouTube say I couldn't order an online website became an offline. <laughs> Ain't can't never stay online because they don't have the support and the infrastructure to keep it going online. It drives me nuts with these places. Here's the other thing you have to think about when people turn when people want to talk about inconsistency, right? Sony gets to pick and choose who they dub pre-orders for. It's not like anybody can just call Sony and say, hey, can I be an authorized retailer and sell 1,000 PS5s, okay? We're not the king and Burger King, okay? I don't know what agreement Burger King came to with Sony, how they secured that to be able to give away 1,000 PS5s, and they're going to be doing a launch thing, something tomorrow. We can talk about that in a moment. I think it's just going to be more UI information, but I'm not eating Whoppers for a month to try to secure a PS5. Like, that's not... 10 years ago, maybe. <laughs> when you on that grown tip, no, 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 no. It's not happening. It's not happening. Um, it, it's just, it, it doesn't make any freaking sense. Queen B, Cookie Lee in the NYC, also known as a secondary honorary hoe on Twitch. Girl, why are you talking about my tabs? Listen, we got a lot to discuss, honey. A lot to discuss. Girl, you know I love you. So... That's the bestie. She's also the secondary honorary hoe in two hoes in a console. Definitely follow her on Twitch. Queen BL. Um, you know, I'm not trying to have heartburn, nausea, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea for the sake of trying to get a PS5. Like, when fresh, and let's talk about this. Since we're here, let's talk about it. When fresh, when fresh, Burger King has bomb onion rings. And when I say when fresh, I mean like freshly fried. The grease was freshly changed. They have bomb onion rings. In terms of like a quick a la carte onion ring fix, Burger King has great onion rings with ranch. Like there's no shame in that. But when you want to talk about console wars, PlayStation versus Xbox, Xbox won this round. In terms of Yum Brands with Taco Bell versus Burger King, if people had to choose a fast food place to go to for their chance to win a console, where do you think they're going? Taco Bell or Burger King? I'm going to tell you where they're going. Yo quiero Taco Bell. That's where they're going. That's where they're going. It would be eight to one. And the one person who would probably go to Burger King probably used to work at Burger King and still has friends there. Don't want his friends feeling sorry for him. I don't really want to eat Taco Bell. But y'all my crew, y'all still over here flipping burgers. and Okay. There's no shame in that game. There's no shame in it. Uh, but it's just, I, we, it makes no sense to me how you're going to let Xbox secure a, a Taco Bell partnership and then you got to go to Burger King. I would have rather you gone to McDonald's than Burger King. Really? I would have rather you gone, Queen Bee will like this. I would rather you've gone to Wendy's. 
scratch that. I would have rather you gone to Arby's than Burger King. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. You can get all your rings at Arby's. I mean, I, I prefer mozzarella sticks at Arby's. But real talk. Nobody is going to be run. I mean, let, let, me, let, me back, let me be like juvenile. Back that ass up. Some folks will be religiously eating Burger King between now and Thanksgiving to try to win a PlayStation 5. That is true. That is true. My black ass will not be one of them. Will not. Queen B on Twitch, get them Arby's curly fries. Yep, yeah, win fresh. Win fresh. Arby's mozzarella sticks curly fries. Burger King has great onion rings, but I don't think an, an order of onion rings would qualify me for an entry to win a PlayStation 5. I think you've got to order like a Whopper and everything else. I think you have to order the whole kitten caboodle. I don't know if they have it on here. Um, I don't know. They might. Let's see if somebody leaks some information. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. <laughs> Burger King where you can have it your way. Okay. They got it here. Promotion begins tomorrow. Let me switch all over. Make sure y'all can see this. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The promotion begins tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. That's 8 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Mountain. How can we participate if you want to? You can have it your way okay, if you want to. Simply download the Burger King app on your phone or visit bk.com to register. Once registered, there are three ways to participate. Make a minimum $5 pre-tax qualifying purchase on the app or bk.com. First of all, who goes to burgerking.com to order Burger King? Who goes, excuse me, I did that purposely for shade. Who goes to BurgerKing.com to order Burger King? Please raise your hand. We'll be here for a little while. Let me know in the chat, because it sure as hell ain't me. BK app or BK.com, you will automatically earn a game token which can be used to immediately play the game. Okay, we'll have to find out what this game is. Make a minimum $5 pre-tax qualifying purchase, meaning it's not every item. Um, you must have to purchase certain items. At a physical Burger King restaurant and input your receipt information. Order number, restaurant number, time of purchase, and purchase amount. They are not playing. They want everything outside of your debit pin card number and your blood type. Uh, on the Burger King app or BurgerKing.com, earn a game token which can be used to immediately play. Is, is this like a slot or something? What game it? Mail, mail in. Oh a mat. You know what? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am, I am, the, the dork in me is laughing, right? Um, hold on, hold on one sec. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Covington Sheriff, what's good on YouTube? What are your launch games? My launch games are Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Launch Edition, um, 2K21, uh, Assassin's Creed and Demon Souls. It would be Destruction All Stars if it was half price, because I am big on Rocket League, and I've talked about this multiple times. Destruction All Stars is Rocket League meets meets Twisted Metal Two, which is my all-time favorite PlayStation Two game, meets Death Race. But seventy bucks for that, y'all wildin'. You wild. You's wildin'. Okay. <laughs> So the fact that I'm I like, I'm just imagining Burger King's accountant right now. Like imagine getting a shoe box 
filled with Burger King receipts to mail in for your chance to win a PlayStation 5. Possibly Bug Snacks. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to wait a little bit only because I don't have like 500 bucks to drop off games right now. Um, I, I think Bug Snacks is going to be by the end of the calendar year. I will most likely own Bug Snacks by Christmas because uh, I'm going to take two weeks off during Christmas just so I can game and have my private time or whatever. It, it, I won't get it by launch. I think um, with Bug Snacks Covington on YouTube, I'm going to play the see if it gets discounted game. I think over the next four weeks by post-launch, I could see five to up to twenty dollars off of Bug Snacks, so I'm gonna play that game instead. Burger King's accountant. I feel so. Who who would have thought I would have ever said I felt sorry for for a Burger King employee? This is mail-in method to participate without purchase. Hand print your full name. Who's got Lysol spray? Where is my Lysol spray? Where the hell is my Lysol spray? Hand print your full name. They probably didn't wash it. Full mailing address. Probably didn't sanitize it. Email address. Phone number. Birth month. Birth year. On a plain three by five inch sheet of paper. Who? Who has a sheet of paper that's three by five? The most the in standard sheets of paper eight and a half by eleven. What the hell is a three by five sheet of paper? Somebody send me a link to a three by five sheet of paper. They mean a postcard? Is that what they mean? They mean a postcard? What is a three by five sheet of paper? Hey Siri, what's a three by five sheet of paper? Okay, I found this on the web for what's a three x five sheet of paper. Check it out. Man, Siri sending me a link to Amazon. Ho, oh, sometimes you don't get it right. But let me just see what this looks like. What the hell is it? Hey, you send me to the Amazon app and you don't open three by five sheet of paper. I am I am so perplexed right now. Sheet of paper. What the hell is a three by five? That's like stock card paper. Child, please. Uh, so pretty much, this. See, you you want to know how the feds find you? Use the mail-in method to enter for Burger King's chance to win a PS5. Okay, you want the feds to find you? Do the mail-in method. One, one entry per person per day. I need to do the math. I need to do the math on this. So if you did thirty days worth of entries, that's thirty envelopes. That's 30 individual Burger King transactions at a minimum of $5 a piece. You're already at what, a buck 50? So you're at least $150 worth of Burger King food that you have to purchase. I didn't say you have to eat it. You got to purchase 150 bucks worth of Burger King. Then you got to have 30 envelopes. Then you got to have 33 by 5 stock, whatever that horse nanny poo poo is. Then you got to buy stamps. A book of stamps. How, how many books are in a book of stamps? 10? 20? You will already have paid for half of the cost of the digital version of the PS5 if you, if you go that route. Really, honestly, you will be at half of the purchase of the PS5, if you go any of these routes, if you gotta spend at least five bucks and you get one entry per day, and you do it for 30 days, oh my God, this is highway robbery. You, you know what's funny, the nerd in me, I'm looking forward to Burger King's Q4 results. I'm gonna be on that conference call when they talk about their income results for this business quarter due to this competition, I swear. Look at this address, though. Wait a minute. To real-time media attention, Sony scratched to win 204 Falls Corporate Center Suite 130. Oh, God, how the hell do you say that? I wanted to say cock and shock. <laughs> Con show hock, hockin'. 
Con Shohaken, I think it's Con Shohaken, Con Shohaken, Pennsylvania. That has to be Quaker as fuck. I'm, I, I just, I, I if you live in Con Shohaken, please tell me what's there. Maybe a tasty freeze. I don't know. Maybe some cows. Let me know. More information can be found here. BK.com for such PS5. This is bananas. How can we don't need to know about how to register? Register. Da, 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 da. Do I need to input receipt? Yes. If you make a purchase at a restaurant, you have to provide receipt information each time. However, if you make a qualifying purchase on the Burger King app or online, you will earn a token automatically. Limit one token per day, per person, per account, regardless of the number of purchases. Okay, so the quickest way to do it is from the app. That is the quickest way to do it. When is the drawing? Oh, God. See? This is why I tell y'all to tune in. This is vital information for your everyday life. Queen BL on Twitch. My homegirl said stamps. Yes, stamps. But look at this. Look, this is why you need to play the pre-order game. This is precisely why. You can play any tokens you have earned at any time. However, all tokens must be played or used by 5 a.m. Eastern, November 23rd. When does the PlayStation 5 come out? November 12th. November 23rd, 7, 8, 9, 10, is 11 days, 11 days after, it's 11 days after the launch of the PS5. It is the Monday, the week of Thanksgiving. Sham. Sham. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no sir, no ma'am. You are better off going about my launch day strategy for folks who were not able to secure a PS5 pre-order. You have a better chance of securing a pre-order, uh, a PS5 on launch day than going this route. Are you kidding me? And the effed up thing is, you know somebody's doing this. You know starting tomorrow they're going to have uh, a desktop Burger King account, uh, an iPad Burger King account, a cell phone Burger King account, and they're going to be eating nugs and whoppers and fries and cheese for the next 30 something days. Oh my God. Uh, uh, um, uh. okay. Prizes. And see here, here's the other caveat too, right? Here's the other caveat. What can I win? Primary scratch price, 1000 Sony PS five game consoles. You don't hear, hear, People, I'm, I'm pleading with you on Twitch, on YouTube. I am pleading with you because I want you to win in life. I am pleading with you. Please, 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 please. Try to secure a pre-order for the PS5 or worst case scenario, try to get one by launch. I have to grab a charger. Give me one sec here. I will be right back. Give me like 30 seconds, 30 seconds. All right, all right, all right. We back. Appreciate your patience. I had to grab my power brick. I forgot to grab it. And my camcorder was like, "Ho, where is your power brick?" There we go. And so yeah, while well, I'm plugging this in, 1000 PS5s. You don't know what kind of PS5. Doesn't say digital, doesn't say physical. But the most important thing that you don't know is when are you going to get it? 
It says nothing about will receive place. All winners will receive PlayStation five consoles by such and such. Shall we take a lesson from one of the greatest holiday movies of all time? And one of my personal favorites, Jingle All the Way. There was a scene in Jingle All the Way when Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad are sitting in this iconic bar diner in Minneapolis. They've been looking high and low for a Turbo Man action figure. Haven't been able to find one. The guy on the radio they're listening to says, Hey, have you been looking for a Turbo Man? It's the hottest toy in town. Well, if you call the radio station right now and name all of Santa's reindeer, you will win a Turbo Man doll. They practically kill each other trying to physically get to the radio station to give the names of Santa's reindeer to get a Turbo Man doll. Here is the caveat. The radio DJ was like, are you under the impression that I have a Turbo Man doll right here in this studio? No, 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 no. And then he goes to his folder and he pulls out a voucher. This is a, a gift certificate. See, it says that you will get a Turbo Man doll eventually. Why put your body through such stress and crap? To get a PlayStation 5, maybe, maybe, let me be clear, maybe when a PlayStation 5, eventually, when you have a better chance of getting one like J.G. Wentworth, 877 cash, right now. This, I just hate it when I feel like people are going to be taken advantage of so bad, right? Some, some teenager... Some depressed teenager in Iowa, because if I lived in Iowa, it's just rough. I get it. Okay. Some depressed teenager in Iowa is looking at this, right? And they're like, all I got to do is spend five bucks a day and eat Burger King. I eat Burger King right now. That's easy. That's no problem. And they're going to spend their hard earned money or their hard earned allowance eating Burger King for the next 30 days to try to win a PS5. And what if they do win it? They don't know where they're going to get it. Right? They don't know when they're going to get it. It would be here. Here. This is what would be different, right? It would be different if Burger King said, and maybe they do say it. Maybe they do say it. And I haven't seen it yet. If it's like, Hey, you've got until November 23rd to, to put in your token for a chance to win. We are doing the drawing on black Friday. Um, and your P your PS five is going to be shipped out by the first of December. And you have, you do this promo of the King in a warehouse next to pallets of PlayStation fives. Like we got them, we're shipping them. Merry Christmas that I would understand that play, but this is way too risky. You don't know what kind you don't know what make, you don't know what model PS five, both models are great. They each serve their purpose. Both models are great. But you don't know which model, and you don't know when you would receive it. And, and don't take this the wrong way. Don't take this the wrong way. I wouldn't participate, and, and let, definitely let me know in the chat, whether it's YouTube or, or Twitch. I don't even know if I would participate for the secondary prizes. Uh, let me catch up on something. Uh, Stra Scraggly Rock said earlier on YouTube, I agree, the system is whack in Burger King. I'm still confused how it works. I feel like the system, the console is going to come out smelling like fries. <laughs> I feel like these consoles might be sitting in some general manager's office smelling like Neosporin and cooking grease. And I, and I'm not interested in that. Um, Scraggly Rock on YouTube also said at this point, I'd rather go to LA for in and out. Listen, I, I'm in Arizona in and out smacks. I know a lot of people feel certain ways about burger, but I, I'm also an East coast girl. So five guys is where it's at for me, but five guys in and out, you can't go wrong. Uh, Scraggly Rock on YouTube also said, imagine if very few people who do these steps for Burger King and they automatically win. Dad, that's not happening. That's, that's not happening. Burger King is too big of a brand. They have too big of a reach. Um, and this is a hot commodity. That, I mean, that's definitely wishful thinking, but it's not happening. But here, here's the other thing. These secondary prizes, to me, aren't even worth trying to participate. 
And it's nothing against the secondary prizes. I just don't think it's worth it, right? 2,000 game codes of Sackboy, right? So here's the other thing. Of all of the launch day games they chose, right? Of all the launch day games they chose to partner with for this giveaway, they partnered with 2,000 digital codes for Sackboy and 2,000 digital codes for Demon Souls. They didn't get Godfall. They didn't get Assassin's Creed. Hell, they didn't get Spider-Man. And a thousand digital codes for three months of PlayStation now. Which, random side note, if anybody needs it, CD Keys has a month, a year subscription of PlayStation now for uh, for thirty bucks, and it will work on PS4, or PS5. If you need that link, let me know. Uh, I just this this is for me. This is no bueno. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What else is the BK giving away? Uh, you could get food coupons. All small ticket items outside of the damn Whopper. Medium fries, chocolate sundae, small soft drink, the Whopper sandwich, or sausage egg and cheese sandwich. Right? Aha! Aha, how are the Sony prizes delivered? You will receive an email with instructions for PS5. You will be asked to fill out additional inf- additional form with shipping information. There's no turnaround time. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. What do you think the probability is of someone winning a PS5 in this sweepstakes and then receiving it this calendar year before the end of 2020? You let me know your opinions in the chat, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube. We're live right now. I appreciate it. It's a new episode of your girl, Two Hoes and a Console. Like, follow, share if you care, because a hoes trying to grow. I also had someone ask me about um, donating to the channel. On YouTube, the Streamlabs link, if you want to donate, um, is there. Feel free. I do this whether it's donations or not. I'm just having a good time because my band can't gig. And I'm a dork. I don't think people are going to be able to win this and get it before the end of 2020. The the only exception to that rule is, is if Sony has already built, they've already manufactured Burger King's allocated 1,000, and then... And then they're just like, okay, this palette, you cannot touch it under any circumstances unless a tsunami comes and you can't touch it. M. Neb on Twitch, appreciate you tuning in. Point. <laughs> point. Oh. Point. Oh. 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 One percent. Yeah. You've read my mind. You, it's not, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. And here's the other caveat you have to think about this too. Let's say you do the sweepstakes and win. They're still going to reach out to you, right? Like, Sony still has to reach out to you to get your government info. We don't know if the form's going to say which you're not guaranteed a specific version, but if you preferred a version, check off the box here, physical or digital. That would be kind of cool, but again, we don't know. We don't know what that looks like. I am assuming... As winners are announced, I would hope that someone would leak the form so we could see what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, if you're trying to, if you're trying to secure a PS5 pre-order this calendar year, like by Christmas, this is not the way to do it. And and your and your lower intestines will thank you for avoiding going about it this way. But I know people had asked about the BK competition. Um, I'm not reading through all these terms and conditions because this is legalese. As I said. The easiest way to go about this, if you want to do it, is definitely through the app. Please do not overwhelm their accountants. Tax time is already hard enough as it is. I feel bad. Um, But what did I say? Let me go back to here for a second. What did I say on Monday? What else did I say on Monday? I said, I said my people at Best Buy, my people at Target, they, they might drop some Black Friday deals early. And whoop, there it is, Tuesday, 
early Black Friday deals. Now, I now I will say this um, because Covington Sheriff on YouTube had talked about launch games. We also talked about Monday about my personal opinion in terms of your PS4 strategy. Like if you have secured your PS5 pre-order and you're getting it on launch day, what you should do with your PS4 um, if you don't plan on keeping it. And we will talk about that again in a moment. But I said there are certain games that I am waiting for the price to drop between now and the end of the Cyber Monday holiday because they qualify for the free PS5 upgrade and they're not remasters. Remember, if there is a game that you're looking for and it is a remastered version, you buy the remastered version. If it's a game where it's like, hey, we put it out but we're not remastering it like a FIFA or a Madden because they drop one every single year, but we're going to automatically give you the PS5 version of the game for free with the purchase of this PS4 game, whether it's digital or physical, that's the route you need to go. Why am I saying this? Because if you haven't done it, let me pull it up. If you haven't done it, what did a hoe say? What did a hoe say? I said there are certain games I never buy at launch because Thanksgiving, they always drop them half price. The, the video game gods just gave me a present for Indigenous People's Day, okay? Madden hadn't been out that long. Madden has not been out that long, y'all. And Target right now has it for $29.99. And you automatically get the PS5 version of the game. What did I say? Y'all want this in the chat? Y'all want this link? Y'all want this? I'll put it in there. I'll put it in there. Look, I'm trying to spread the gospel. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Now, here's the caveat. This is the physical version, okay? I'm putting it in the chat right now. If you bought the... Di here, if you secured the digital PS5 pre-order and you can wait a few more weeks, the digital version will be $29.99. You might have to wait till the week of Thanksgiving, uh, but, it, but it will be that price. It will be that price. I said this Monday... I talked about the games. I'm not buying up front. The, another example was The Last of Us 2. I said, I purposely have waited to play The Last of Us 2 because I want to play it on PS5. And by the time Thanksgiving rolls around, the price is going to drop. It's $39.99 right now. On Target, on Best Buy, on Amazon, Last of Us 2, $39.99. I feel like they're going to drop it to $29.99. So I'm going to wait a little longer. My goal is to be able to play, start playing Last of Us 2 closer to the Thanksgiving holiday when I have a few days off. MNEB on Twitch, it's going to be a PS2, PS3, and a UGO Fusion card. That's what's up. Listen, I don't hate on nobody's hustle. You do what you got to do, right? What I am personally doing um, is I, I do not do not sell your PS4, right? Because he, here's the real strategy. If Sony is going to be providing support for the PS4 for the next two to four years, that means folks are still going to use PS4. And you also have to understand this. You're going to have some people who aren't going to be securing a PS5 immediately. And something could very well happen to their existing PS4 where they, where it's just easier to be like, Hey, let me, let me just try to replace my PS4 for like 200, 250 bucks on Craigslist, on Facebook marketplace, on offer up just to do that. Right. And of course, if you sold, if you secured your PS5 and you sell your PS4, you just take the money from the PS4 and put the price difference towards the cost of your PlayStation five. So instead of spending $3.99 on the digital, if you find that needle in a haystack, or $4.99 for the physical, 
it takes it down to if you can get roughly between 175 to 250 for your PS4, depending upon its condition used, that would take you down to roughly, you know, between a two, one, you know, closer to two, 249, 199 to 249 for the, for the, uh, PlayStation digital, right? If it's 399, you can get 200 for it. That's two. That's 199. So if you, yeah. So about between 199 and 249, and for the for the physical that could put you at maybe between 399 no between 249 and 299 right like it's just it depends on how like what you end up doing but again it you save money on your car insurance by switching to Geico uh but but again i there are certain deals that are happening like this where it says right there PS5 game also included. And Madden doesn't have a remaster, right? The only game where I would not do this for is 2K. Because 2K has a PS5 remaster. So Madden I would do this for. FIFA is also another one. FIFA is also doing a free upgrades to the PS5, free enhancements. So if FIFA 21, which hasn't been out long at all either, goes to $29.99, cop that joint. Cop that joint. Right? Um, you cannot do that, though. The only other game where you really need to buy it full retail is Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Launch Edition because the current version of Spider-Man um, that came out in 2018, they did a full remaster for that, and you cannot have access to the remaster unless you buy Miles Morales Ultimate Launch Edition. But if you take a look, right, like... They still have deals going on. They still have they still have deals going on. If you bought anything today from Prime Day the past two days, I really didn't see anything phenomenal on Prime Day. There might have been like like a from a like a from a PC side, maybe a headset, maybe a keyboard. I didn't see anything miraculous. I'm personally um, am looking for another monitor. Um, and the monitors that they had, I thought they would have had better. So I'm just going to wait until, until more of the official Black Friday deals come out. But I mean, Best Buy right here, we can take a look at games. What do they got for PS4 games? What's this? Headsets, headsets. what I tell you? what I tell you? what did I tell you? And what is the other thing I said on Monday night stream, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, however you choose to identify. We are now in extended holiday return period. When you purchase an item between October 13th and January 2nd, you will have until the 16th of January to return it. Someone had asked me uh, Monday night about the HD camera for the PS5 accessory. I said, buy it and use it for a month. <laughs> And if you don't like it, keep the box, keep the receipt. It qualifies for the extended holiday return policy. I try to give you the gospel. You taking notes? I hope you take notes. Hope you're having a great time this Wednesday. Yeah, again, and here's the other good thing about this. I know Last of Us 2 will be $39.99, at least at Best Buy, for the remainder of the holiday season. At least until, I would say, Cyber Monday's over with. So I don't have to stress about this. I personally want to wait to see if I can get a $29.99, maybe a $24.99. That might be a little bit greedy. Um, the digital version might be a smidge lower come holiday time. I, If you have Last of Us 2, let me know in the chat. Let me know if you loved it. Uh, my friends who have been playing it so far loved it. I, I waited on purpose. I could have played it launch day. I chose to wait on purpose and be respectful. No spoilers though. Don't put no spoilers in the chat. I will block you. <laughs> Boop. No spoilers, but let me know if you have it. And if you liked it, uh, what else we got? 2k 21. I believe, um, I believe you should wait on this price. Um, I, I believe you should buy the PS five remaster for it. I think you would be depriving yourself of a wonderful audio and visual experience. 
But if if you are cash conservative and you can't wait, this is a dog on good price. I'm used to, again, the 2Ks, the Maddens, the FIFAs, the NHLs, the UFCs of the world, I'm used to them trading at half price. I'm used to them trading at $29.99 during the holiday season. So for me, I'm going to, sitting at this poker table, I'm going to hold my cards. But again, great price. And um, now I think the only caveat with this version, though, it's the standard version. I do not think it qualifies for the free upgrade to PS5. I think you would have to buy the Mamba edition in order to do that. But we can check and see real quick. Yeah, I think this version does not include the PS5 version. So just keep that in the back of your mind as well. Some of these developers are being very fickle as a pickle when it comes to who can upgrade, who cannot. But let's see. What else we got? Madden, again, Target has it cheaper. Amazon might have it for $29.99 as well for Prime Day. But again, I put that Target link in there. But it showed right here. PS4, PS5. Madden does not have a remaster. So by all means, go to the Target link I threw in the chat and cop that joint. Uh, GTA always trades for 15 and 20 bucks. It's been trading for 15 to 20 bucks for the past five years. Again, if you're new to GTA, that would be a great way to do it. Uh, I don't buy any type of like MPV editions or yada yada schmada like this. But again, you're talking about 25% off of the original retail pricing. That's not a bad buy. Star Wars. I'm not much into playing Star Wars games as I am watching the movies. That's just me. I don't know if any of you all like Just Dance. Borderlands 3 was recently free on the PlayStation Store not that long ago. What was the what was the game that was free last month? Was it Apex? It might have been Apex. Hmm. Plants vs. Zombies, okay. <laughs> Queen BL, the game she still cannot complete. God knows why. This is how you know you make too much game, right? I remember when, and also real talk side note, the digital version of this game on the PlayStation Store right now is 15 bucks. The Ultimate Gold Edition, which used to retail for 120 bucks, is on sale PlayStation Store for $19.99. That's how you know you have too much game. When you have the Ultimate Gold Edition, which used to retail for $1.20, and now you're selling it <laughs> for $20. It's... I've been, I, I haven't personally played this game. I've been watching the secondary honorary hoe, Queen BL. Um, she's been live streaming this game on Twitch. And every time I watch her do it, my brain wants to pop. The dialogue makes me angry. Um, some people don't look Greek. They got black folks just randomly sporadic. I, they're, they're selling slaves off the block. I, I, I could write a whole op-ed on it, but I'm not going to do that. Here's another game, uh, and I think Scraggly Rock was, we were talking about this. Uh, whoa, 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 got a new mouse, sorry. Whoa, 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 she's on fire. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, Need for Speed Heat. I am going to buy this game. I'm going to wait to get the digital version, though, because they are doing a free enhanced upgrade to PS5, and I heard it's pretty good. Uh, let me know in the chat if you have Need for Speed Heat. Uh, Scraggly Rock. Uh, let me hit the, the comments for a moment in the chats. Scraggly Rock on YouTube, I don't like Last of Us 2 because of spoiler. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And uh, Queen BL over on Twitch is trolling about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. God willing, she's able to beat it before Thanksgiving, before the turkey gets cold. Uh, I, yeah, I, don't get me wrong. I understand that Greeks Greeks have always had melanin. That's, that's not my problem. It's just... Um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to get into Assassin's Creed. Girl, girl, I'll talk to you. Girl, you know, I'm a, we, we're going to talk about this later. But Need for Speed Heat um, is, is doing a free upgrade to PS5 price point. It might even drop to $14.99, but knowing right now that it's $20, bucks, i will be copying that. I don't know if I'm going to cop it launch day. I might just try to wait till the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, but we can talk about launch day games. Definitely let me know what you're going to have launch day for PS5. Again, wonderful opportunities for certain games to get if that is something that tickles your fancy. Let's go to the PS5 section of Best Buy, obviously, as we can see. Uh, so speaking of Best Buy, um, definitely let me know. Appreciate you all watching live on YouTube, live on Twitch. Let me know in the chat if you 
A, secured your PS5 pre-order, and B, what are your launch games? Um, and, and, and why those are your launch games. So, again, we are on the countdown, just a little shy of 28 days until the console drops. Uh, I spoke with my contact at, at Best Buy earlier this afternoon because uh, I had to go run a couple of errands. They have not received information yet, and GameStop is in the same boat. And we're going to talk about GameStop because apparently you might have a chance to do Wave 3 of pre-orders on GameStop this week, as in in the next 48 hours, and we will talk about that. Um, Best Buy has not received any official communication yet in terms of a midnight launch for the PS5. They are weighing pros and cons in terms of COVID and yada yada shmada. I, I think, um, you know, my, my inside source asked for my opinion. I think they should do it because it's going to get the majority of people out of the way, right? If, if you are a business, right, and I think right now it probably varies from location to location, location, to location but I think Best Buy is open for COVID hours, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. based on your local time. If, if you have business, like right, like regular business, like people don't go to Best Buy just to buy video game consoles. People go to Best Buy to purchase all sorts of electronics. So if you don't want to have PS5 pre-orders flooded during your main business hours, knock them out during off hours, a.k.a. a midnight release. Now, the, the trend has always been for midnight releases to take place. I don't think they're not going to have uh, a midnight release, but I, I'm saying this now in case they don't. You need to be prepared to, God, I don't want to say camp overnight. I hate saying camp overnight. People have lives. We all have lives. Some of us work jobs. We got other issues to deal with. If you, if you are not in a position to be like Lionel Richie and go all night long, okay, I would say you would need to get to your local retailer by the extreme latest to 5 a.m. Run to Starbucks or run to your coffee place or make your own coffee and, and get the to the retailer by 5 a.m. My contact at GameStop also said they are probably not going to do a midnight release of the console. I think it's dumb not to do it. I think it's dumb. Because you're getting, you're getting all of the hecticness out of the way. And it has nothing to do with interfering during your regular normal business hours, right? We're going to be, think about all of the grandparents who are going to be scared because they're pulling up to Best Buy because they need to get a new SIM card for their phone. And it's like a plethora of Xbox pre-orders, a plethora of PlayStation pre-orders. It's insane. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's insane. In terms of launch day games though, let's talk about it. Spider-Man Miles Morales, the ultimate edition, right? Like. If you're, if you, if your money is tight, tight like a tiger and you can only secure the console and one game, like the console, no accessories, one game, get that game. If it's like, Allie, I can choose between buying a spare controller or buying a game. Don't be stupid. Buy the game, sweetie, buy the game. This will be a day one. Call of Duty will not be a day one. It will be a day eventually because I don't do online mode. When I played Call of Duty, I'm, I'm a story mode, campaign mode type of person. I downloaded the alpha for Call of Duty. Campaign mode was not an option. They only had online, and I, I played it for a little bit, and I was just, mm, delete, delete. The Call of Duty heads will go nuts. I understand that, um, but it, for me, it's not happening. Uh, and also, too, pay attention to this. You, if you are into Call of Duty and you don't care about paying retail price, you might want to digital download it because this is technically not launch day. This is day after launch. This is Friday the 13th. I've talked about Cyberpunk. I am, I'm waiting until after Halloween to about Cyberpunk. I want to buy it, right? But we've talked about the developers are really, they got knees on their necks right now. And I don't know, I don't know if they're going to make it. I don't know if they're gonna make it. Remember when Fallout 76 came out too early? We saw how that went, didn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know if they're gonna make it. 
visually, I'm, I'm salivating at the mouth over this game. And side note, we are gonna go. We're gonna show Spider-Man gameplay because it looks sick. I'm salivating at the mouth, salivating at the mouth for this game. I just don't know if they're gonna cut the mustard and get it done in time. We can all hope, right? It's just like when Red Dead came out. Red Dead was delayed a year, right? Red Dead was supposed to come out, and then Rockstar was like, we need another year. And we were pissed for like a week, but then we understood because the gameplay was that much better. I don't know about online, but the campaign is... Don't get me started on Red Dead Redemption 2. I play it constantly on this channel. It's a masterpiece. Story mode is a masterpiece. Online needs work, but story mode is a masterpiece. Demon Souls, I will be playing... Uh, this is a redo, a remaster from the PlayStation 3 era. I want to compare and contrast it. I like the visuals that I saw in it thus far, um, and I think it's the right play. Uh, if anybody is in need of an accessory, they have the media remote. Um, again, I don't know what accessories you all bought. I bought every accessory except the camera. I don't need this camera. Every other sex... Ex <laughs> sex. Every other sexory... Every other accessory is going to be used. Um, I don't need this, but if you need it, by all means, buy it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I will have that. Godfall, I will have that. Uh, Sackboy will be a buy eventually. I want to, you know, to, I, I want to play it out of respect for the franchise, right? Uh, 2K will be a buy before Christmas. I'm I'm going to play the game of seeing if this drops to 49.99, 44.99, 39.99. This is the official PS5 remaster version of 2K. That is the version I want. Uh Watch Dogs Legion um to be determined, right? Some of these games are are TBD for me just because I would rather wait on reviews. Before I'm, I'm dropping all this cash, plus the games that I'm going to be starting out with on the PS5, on top of the games I'm purposely keeping my PS4 for, 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 for purchasing digital versions of the game that have free upgrades to the PS5 at discounted prices, Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Um, I, I don't want to buy games that I'm not like absolutely head over heels about, not yet. Same with Destruction All-Stars. It's too much. I really, if this game was $49.99, I would have it launch day. It might be the second or third game I put in. But you're, at, you're asking for 70 bucks for a, a, a Rocket League spinoff. I can't justify it. And I'm a Rocket League snob. I can't justify it. Still a lot of unclarity behind the game, too. We talked about it from PlayStation's website. Far Cry is not anytime soon. Riders Republic is not anytime soon. Devil May Cry, Star Wars, FIFA, again, this version. I love how they're showing the PS4 version. <laughs> the PS4 cover art for the play on the PlayStation 5 section of the website. Um <laughs> it's funny. So, uh wait, wait for this to drop. This will go down to 29.99. I promise you it will go down to 29.99 and and then you can cop it. Earlier, they had the DualSense charging station. They sold out already? Again? Wow. Wow, we. Mm, 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 mm. If you got any other deals as well, right? Like, so, um, a lot of folks aren't just in the market for a console. A lot of people are going to be looking into upgrading other aspects of their tech to enhance their gaming experience. That could be audio. That could be visual, televisions, right? Uh, monitors, other, other accessories that will make your gaming experience as primo as possible. Uh, by all means, I definitely want to know in the chat, you know, what are you thinking about shopping for, whether it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, maybe Santa Claus is coming to town. Could be TVs, could, could be monitors. You know, I'm looking for a monitor. Um, the, the TV thing, I would love to do it, but it's, uh, it's a steep. It's steep right now. And two, the majority of TVs that are in the price range that could actually take advantage of HDMI 2.1 only has one port that supports HDMI 2.1. And there are no games right now that are gaming at 120 hertz 
on consoles. It's, it's not happening. Not a true 4K 120 hertz experience. So it would be a waste, right? If you were buying a television to future-proof yourself, like as an investment, that I get. Um, but right now, it's like in, uh, upgrade your TV or upgrade your router. Upgrade your router. <laughs> upgrade your router. TVs come and go. Um, but there are certain things that you can do to prep for the overall shopping experience. Let's talk about the gameplay, though. Oops, 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 oops. Where is my gameplay tab? Here it is. Christ, I'm sorry, y'all. This is what happens when you have too many tabs open. My and and it's been that kind of day. It's been that kind of day. So they Game Informer drop some gameplay for Miles Morales, and it looks killer. Now I'm gonna try my darndest to um to keep this at full 4K. Um, it's just the load and the bandwidth on it takes a little bit of time. But let's take a look at this. This is exclusive look at Spider Cat. <laughs> Where are my cat lovers at? Where are the cats at? Where are the cats at? Where are the cats at? Okay. Where are the cats at? Let's take a look at this gameplay. Uh, the, Miles Morales should be the first game everybody plays on PlayStation 5. That's just my opinion, though. Let's check it out. Genki said the app's blowing up. City definitely needs a Spider-Man. Should patrol for a while. Looks like Tails Bodega was robbed. Hope I can help. Should probably call Genki when I get there. Why did these dudes go to a power station? Oh, golly. There's my way in. Now for the breaker. For real this time. Let's get out of here, Spider-Man. Look at that cat. <laughs> hey, man. Power restored. Bank high stopped. Spider-Man the cat saved. All in a day's great work. Maybe we can get leads on who we're dealing with. Look at the detail. <laughs> oh, hey, sister girl. Hey. Hey, Teo. Got a surprise for you. Oh yeah. Where do cigarettes What's cost that? 549? That's a lie. I don't smoke and know that. <gasps> Look at the detail. <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Heart attack. Oh, yes you did. Oh, yes you did. <clears throat> Good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. You ready to swing, Spider-Cat? You two look great. Look at that. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. Like that. <laughs> Garfield's cousin. Who got Garfield's cousin in this game? Look at the attempt. <laughs> that is such a New York thing to do. Let's just take a cat. Let's just take a stray cat. Give it a name. Put a mask on it and watch it kick butt. And where <laughs> and you can't. I'm not even a smoker, but I know a pack of cigarettes does not cost $5.49. <laughs> where in Cheyenne, Wyoming? Where is that? Where is that? Where? Please. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me. Y'all see the attention to that detail, though? Where's that Again. aerial con? There's like an indoor aerial combat scene. I think this is it. <laughs> Look at this! Y'all! 
Oh my god! Now for the breaker. For real this time. Let's get out of here, Spider-Man. Look at the... See, this is where ray tracing comes in, right? Like, look at the rivets in the Spidey suit. Look at the rivets in the Spidey suit. The grain. The wood grain. Right? The patina on the metal here. I don't know if this is brass or copper on this handle. Look at the detail. We'll even go back to the scene where, and this is in 4K right now. This is 2160. This is 4K. Hey man, I'm assuming this is 4K 60 frames. Like Make this thing stops. is, Spider like I can't believe scene. it's not butter All smooth. Is great work. This is shot a smooth get, operator. Call you soon. Look at the grocery store signs. Hey sister girl, <laughs> how you doing? Hey Teo. Look at the chips. Right? Look at the snacks. Oh yeah. What's that? If this ain't a bodega, look at, look at brother man. Look at brother man here. The goatee, the eye, the facial feature, the perspiration on his cheeks. He's been working a double shift. If this, y'all need to get on it. Y'all need to get on it. Stra Scraggly Rock on YouTube. Spidey Cat's going to be the next Baby Yoda trend. Uh, you called it. Ding, ding, ding. You called it. Look at this. See, this is why... This is why it's important to make, your, your, make sure your setup is as best as it can possibly be, right? Even folks on a budget can have the potential for a great next-gen gaming setup. Don't believe all the marketing hype about, oh, you, you got to have 2.1 and also an 8K. Nobody's gaming in 8K right now. Nobody, okay? The console itself is just future-proofing. Nobody's gaming in 8K, right? But I'm telling you right now, if you can find a 4K ultra HDR TV that it has at least an HDMI 2.0 port, right? Where you can get 4k 60 frames per second. It would be preferred if you could get, I mean, 60 Hertz or 60 Hertz. It would be preferred if you could get 4k 120 Hertz, but you should be able to find a TV with those minimum specs between 250 and, and, and 500 bucks. Like, really, 349 is probably going to be your sweet spot, whether it's a Target, a, uh, a Best Buy, a Walmart, as they continue to drop holiday deals. Like, you will be able to see this. You will. You can, you will, and you shall. And if you have secured a PlayStation 5, 5 pre-order, hell, if you've secured an Xbox Series X pre-order, and you are still running an LCD 1080p television, it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. Use that television as a, as a second, com second computer monitor. Use that television in like your guest bedroom or try to sell that television for 50 or a hundred bucks and use that towards the discount of getting a new TV or the discount of securing the pre-order for the console that you got, right? Like, do not deprive yourself of a visual experience like this. This is insane. What we just watched is not, it's not, it's not. And you have, you got to fight for your right to party. And this is a party you want to be at a 4k 60 frames per second party on PS five. I want to be at this party. Do you want to be at this party? I mean, I mean, I'm going to be at the party. I'm VIP. <laughs> okay. I'm VIP. Okay, I'm going to be at the party. I don't know about you. I want you to be at the party with me. I want us all to be able to party together. Together. We're going to look at another um, exclusive clip of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Appreciate you all tuning in on this Wednesday evening, Girl Alley A. New episode of Two Ho -ho Ho's <laughs> and a console. Fairly new channel. Please like, follow, share if you care. I'm trying to get to 50 followers on Twitch by PS5 launch so I can qualify for affiliate. 
I will be doing a Black Santa 25 Days of Christmas giveaway. I will be giving away a PlayStation 5 gamer to a very lucky subscriber, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. I am an equal opportunity Christmas lover. So please, 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 please help a hoe out. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you're having a great time. Let's look at this other clip as well um, that has a little bit more action, action, action gameplay in it. That Spidey Cat had good story content, good plot content in it. Um, this next clip we're going to watch has some Rock'em Sock'em gameplay in it. So let's take a look and see what the deal is here. Definitely gonna call a duty vibe right here with that aerial shot. Sit tight, Helix 2. Pete, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to. It's okay. We got this. Just need to contain Look it. Look at the ray tracing. Look at the detail on the suits, y'all. That alone should tell you. Before that happens. What the hell? Hello, tiny spiders. You got, you got a ball sack for... <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me look at this game. Oh. We're going to come back to that in a moment, though. Because <laughs> I can't be the only one. In the future, just keep trying, man. No more breakouts. I can't, first, okay. first of all, again, ray tracing. Look at the detail on the suits. Look at the reflection of the city in Spidey's eyes. That's ray tracing. That's like, oh, man. The stitching. You can see the stitching. The embroidery. The muscles. We got this. I can't be the only one that saw a ball sack, though. Real talk. I can't be the only one. Before that happens. Hello, tiny spiders. You cannot tell me. Okay, okay, okay. I know they're a special set of handcuffs for whoever this villain is, but you can't tell me you don't see two balls. Big balls, in fact. L let me know in the chat, you know. I'm not trying to get X-rated. I'm a realist. I'm keeping it real. I The first thing I saw was balls. Like, ooh, got some big balls. Where my balls at? Where my balls at? Huh? Where my balls at? I cannot be the only person who doesn't see two testicles when looking at this. I can't. I cannot be. I cannot be. I mean, really, he should go see a urologist because that size... That's not healthy. That's not healthy. Mm -mm. That's not healthy. I can't be the only one. You can't. You can't tell me I'm. You can't tell me I'm the only one who sees <laughs> who sees balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm a dork. Y'all know I'm a dork. Moral of the story is the game looks bomb. And you should buy it. I think that's a great moral to the story, don't you? The game looks bomb. You should buy it. I I don't under I don't understand what the problem is. The game looks bomb. You should buy it. Now here is something though. You're gonna want to consider. 
uh, and and we're and everybody's gonna consider it. And that is your storage space for PS5. Let's talk about it. PS5 dev, dev kits have 620 gigs. 620 gigs of usable space. That's not a lot. So if you've got an 800 and, and what 860 gig hard drive, you're essentially saying almost 250 of that is is UI and features. That's what you're that's what you're telling us. That's what you're telling us. Seriously, that's that's a lot. A new video posted by Digital, Digital Foundry confirmed the PS5 dev, dev kits have 620 gigs of usable storage space, which is lower than the reported 664 available to users in the retail version. See, I thought, I had told people it was going to be between 675 and 750 gigs. Uh, it's like Flow Rider. Low, 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 low. That's low. That's low. But you can upgrade your SSD. Uh, we're going to talk about a different way. I think a lot of people won't think about upgrading the SSD and I think they should. I think it would save them a lot of money. It might not be the most aesthetically pleasing, but it would get the job done. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yes, we know when it's going to be released. SSD available in PS5s allows developers to offer near instant loading times as well as, of course, give users more space on which to store their titles and other media. Well, there you have it. So as you continue to do your own research and development, trying to figure out where you want to shop, right? What, what games are you going to have at launch day? Take into account your storage. Take into account your storage. It's going to be like Tony the Tiger. Tight. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. But one of the good things... I, I consider this to be a positive, not all these damn ads. Um, but I consider this to be a positive PS five remote play will allow you to play with HDR on, right? So sometimes if you have party chats with side notes, some of the party chats they're saying as a PS five feature, you could have potentially up to a hundred people in a party chat. That's going to be madness. I would hate to be in that call of duty party chat with a hundred people. Are you nuts? Um, sometimes you're in a party chat and sometimes people are in the chat just to chat. Sometimes people aren't in the party chat to game. They just want to chat and hang out, but they want to watch the action. So you turn on remote play and people can watch the action. You know, you stay in the party chat. They can participate, watch visually. This is a good thing, especially with streaming. Sometimes you turn HDR off with these capture cards. Excuse me. When you're streaming for console, this is a positive. Sony has updated the PS5 remote play app, preparing it for the PS5's launch, revealed that you will be able to use remote play for your PS5 with HDR on, providing you have a compatible screen. Again, what does your television say? What does your television say? Okay. So the remote play app here, they're giving you the option, enable HDR. Um, sometimes I would use like the remote play app, like if you're on like your laptop and you want to be able to stream portably. That's one way to do it. I think this is good though. I, 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 I take this as good news. If you don't think it's good news, I would understand why you don't think it's good news. But yeah, you know. Stragly Rock on YouTube. 620 is barely going to support three to four games. Not only Sony said they are compressing their games back in August. Yeah. A lot of these get right. So the new Spider-Man would have originally probably been close to like a hundred gigs. I think it's only going to be like 50 to 60 gigs. And that's actually a let me go back here for a second. That's actually a great question because it's on there. Let's take a look. You deserve a break today. So get up and get away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Today. Specs, where are the specs? Where are the specs? Bum, 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 ba -da -bum, bum, bum. I thought they dropped the file size for Spider Man. 
I thought they dropped it on the PlayStation site. Let's look it up. Yeah, I was like, someone dropped it. Here we go. I just had to find the article for a moment. Give me one sec here. Appreciate y'all's patience. Oh, thank you very much. Outside of all these guys. I mean, advertisements galore. Good grief, people. Spider-Man Miles Morales file size smaller on PS5 than PS4. According to a PlayStation listing spotted used by Reset Era, Spider-Man Miles Morales weighs in at a pretty chunky 50 gigs on PS5. PS4 version is 52 gigs. So I would assume if you had Spider-Man Miles Morales and the remastered version of the current gen of Spider-Man, you're probably going to be looking at mm, 75 to 80 gigs. Gigs, right? So if the average game, if you compress it, if the average game, but here's the other thing too, Miles Morales only has about between eight to 10 hours of gameplay. That's what the word on the street is. So your GTAs, your Red Dead Redemptions, your 2Ks, those, the, those are fat daddy games. Your Call of Duties, those are fat daddies. Your Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed is going to be a fat daddy. But let's say for the sake of sake, let's say on PS5 you average, we'll just say for good measure, you average 75 gigs a game if it's compressed properly. Eight games averaging 75 gigs is 600 gigs. If you have eight PS5 games where they average 75 gigs in size per game, that's eight games to get to 600 gigs. But this is why, for me, in my opinion, the physical version of the PS5 is better because again you could still put your games on craigslist on facebook on offer up and sell them you know if miles morales is great you know i might keep it for a while if i end up wanting to sell it or whatever you know try to get 50 40 30 for it you know put that towards something else that's, that's the whole that's the whole benefit but that's you're not gonna have you're gonna have little to no data you're gonna have little to no data and you're going to have, I mean, this is the other thing I would really tell people to pay attention to is if you see any good deals, honest to God, I wouldn't even do a one terabyte SSD expansion. I would try to, if you could do two terabytes because at least two terabytes is going to give you some sense of not necessarily future proofing, but really a little sense of like a sigh of relief, uh, to try to get a two terabyte solid state, but really I would try to get a two terabyte solid state external and run it USB. That's what I would try to do. Uh, in terms of, it's probably gonna be cheaper to do it. Also too, you could get a SATA three to USB cable, right? You could probably, I don't know if they make SATA to USB C that would be bomb, but you you could definitely get a SATA to USA USB a cable and run it that way. Uh, and save yourself some money. And in again, in terms of load time, it's still a solid state hard drive. There are no moving internal parts. It will still get the job done. It'll still get the job done. Hope you're having a great time this evening. I'm just checking something here. Probably going to go for like another 20 minutes or so. And then I've got to work on a couple of things. But I just want to make sure we get got to all of the pressing news for today. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, so GameStop. I was like, I kept forgetting what was happening. GameStop. So with GameStop, um, you word on the street is, look, it's a big street. Okay. 
me. It's a big street. Word on the street is you may have the opportunity to do a third wave of pre-orders um, as early as Friday. Um, their third wave is going to be their final wave. I know that for a fact. It's going to be their third and final. And really, everybody is at the mercy of Sony. Nobody is... It's not like people don't want to do pre-orders, right? It's the fact that Sony hasn't secured a guaranteed allocation from a purchase order to be able to knock out a pre-order. But my contact source at GameStop said Friday. Friday. Uh, what does that mean? Has, has GameStop put out a post on Twitter yet? No. Um... Could they do it tomorrow and it's the same recipe that we did last time? Yeah. That's that's possible. Uh, the last time GameStop did their second wave of pre-orders, really only the bundle was for sale. I don't think I, I knew anybody who was able to secure just a physical or digital version of the console. I think it was all pre-orders. I mean, all bundles. It was the Demon Souls Ultimate Edition Miles Morales extra controller, uh, a year's worth of PlayStation Plus, the charging station, and the physical disc PS5. I don't know anybody who did not secure anything outside of a bundle. So this is what I would say. I would say stay tuned if, for some news tomorrow about pre-orders for GameStop again. Um, if for some reason they don't do it this Friday, it'll definitely be next Friday. Right. So the way they went about it is probably the same recipe that you're going to have to take in this consideration. Do not plan on being able to pre-order a digital. If you right now have your eyes set on trying to secure a console for by launch day and your heart is set on a digital, you have a better chance of playing with the video game gods and going physically to the retailer on the night before launch or the morning of launch. Uh, and, and see what happens, because you're, you're not gonna get it. For, you're not gonna get it from GameStop. It's not happening. GameStop wants you to buy games at GameStop. <laughs> they, don't like it. they don't want you to not buy games, not at GameStop. They want you to buy games at GameStop. They want you to have to have a reason to return to GameStop, which is why I have so many issues with their business model. They're, they they are, I, I don't care that Microsoft has put money into them. I don't. I don't. I don't. In the war of consoles, PlayStation is better. That's it. PlayStation is better. We already know this. We already know this. But I'm an equal opportunity appreciator for folks who are able to secure the console that they want. But PlayStation is better. Uh, and it's more future proof. We talked, we talked about the teardown. We've talked about the specs time and time again. The Xbox series S console has cheap computer parts on it. Why in the world, right? If you had two, two ninety nine to drop on a console, would you rather buy an Xbox series S or a Nintendo switch? If this would be your first time owning either one, let me know in the chat what you think of that. My answer would be a switch. A switch. Okay. Why not save the extra hundred bucks and try to find the ultimate needle in the haystack, which is the digital version of the PS5. I just don't want to be at the mercy of digital forever. Also too, Amazon had a great, I don't think it's there anymore. But they had the entire Blu-ray set of Harry Potter for 27 bucks, and a hoe bought it. Where are my Harry Potter fans at? Where are my Harry Potter fans at? Where are the snacks at? Where are my Harry Potter fans at? Scraggly on, on YouTube, Call of Duty will be 200 gigs but compressed to 3 four. So, yeah, I hope it's for all games. Yeah, I agree. Scraggly also on YouTube. I'm just waiting for Best Buy to restock. Probably not going to happen for a while. Here's what my contact is saying at, at, at Best Buy. So I don't think Best Buy is going to have another wave. I don't think they're going to have another wave. 
Well, well, mm, well, ladies, okay. let me be like juvenile and back that ass up. I don't think they're going to have another wave for the next two weeks. I think if Best Buy is blessed with a secondary wave, it's going to be the week of Halloween. If you don't see anything for Best Buy week of Halloween, and I think even that is doubtful, it's not happening. It's not happening. Um, Target could be due for one. Walmart could be due for another one. And GameStop, since they're actually small in terms of cap income per capita per physical re physical retailer, they could also be due, which is why I'm like, GameStop is doing one. If they don't do it this Friday, it's definitely next Friday. I My gut is telling me they're going to talk about some stuff tomorrow, and it's going to be a hoopla all over again of trying to secure it Friday. But remember, if GameStop does their third and final wave of pre-orders on Friday, it's not happening at midnight. We, we learned this from the last one. It's going to be happening between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, which is 12 noon to 2 p.m. Eastern time. Convert that for Central Mountain, wherever you're located. So just keep that in your back pocket. If Best Buy doesn't do a second wave by Halloween, it's not happening. It's not, it's not happening. It's not happening at all. It's not happening. You're not going to see it. And Amazon also did not do uh, a Prime Day drop for PlayStation. And I think a ton of people were pissed about that. A ton of people. Let's go to, let's go to Amazon for a moment. Switch back to here. Amazon did not do a console drop. And it's still te technically right now, it's still Prime Day. They didn't do anything for PS5. They didn't do any accessories. They didn't do any consoles. They didn't do Jack Squad. Nothing. Everybody has the controller. You know my theory on the controller. Listen, you're not gonna see another. You're not gonna see another color of this controller, um, unless it's like two weeks before Christmas. I would. I would be really shocked if you saw a new color for this controller this calendar year. I think that's why the majority of people are waiting. I say get a second controller and you have Best Buy's extended holiday return policy. If they drop a color before January 2nd and you buy one, return the spare one. Charging station is sold out. They do have the camera. I feel like everybody has the camera. No headset. No media remote. Let's do also do a recap while we're talking about these. And, and then I will come back to... Um, Amazon for a moment because I really didn't see anything on Prime Day. Let me know in the chat if you bought anything on Prime Day. Uh, if you are looking for accessories, Best Buy does have the spare controller. They have the media remote. They have the camera. They are sold out of the headset. They are sold out of the dual charging station. Target has the dual charging station. Mm. Y'all need this? I'm going to throw this in the chat in case y'all need it. Target has the dual charging station. Let me put this in the chat. In case y'all need the dual charging station, Target does have it. Are they letting, well, I was going to say, are they letting you add it to the cart? This new mouse is, whoo, look at fast. Hey! It's in the cart. It's in the cart. I've been using these as an examples and scenarios. It's in the cart. They have the controller. They have the media remote. They have the camera. They are sold out of the headset. Uh, Walmart is sold out of everything. You want to know how baffled I am with Walmart? Look at Walmart's website. They learn from their second wave of pre-orders. Look at Walmart's website. You can't click on a console. The only, <laughs> the only accessory you can order for Walmart right now is the controller. Oh, excuse me. You can't order coming soon. Coming now. See, this is how you know it's a damn shame. This is how you know it's a damn shame. The fact that you can't even buy the camera from Walmart. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. That is a complete damn shame. 
y'all. It's hard out here in these streets. It's hard out here in these streets. Walmart has nothing. Don't don't waste your time. Uh, but in terms of Prime Day, right? Putting all my business out there. I I didn't see anything good. Uh, Scraggly on YouTube, sub to Prime and nothing kind of ticked off. Hopefully Best Buy clutches. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would love to see Target do an, another proper round of pre-orders. I don't know if that'll happen. Um, it would be nice to see Best Buy come through in the clutch. Let's shop all deals. Where are the categories at? Where's video games at? I didn't see Jack on Prime Day. Who who was that Ashley Simpson looking wannabe? I didn't see nothing. Look at this. Um, old gate, old computer opponents, right? Because we're on next gen AMD's and next gen Intel's. I bet you that they are not compatible with that. Uh, the fifty percent off Razer. Like Razer had like some headsets that looked interesting. Uh, but again, this is if you PC game or if you're looking for a gaming headset that's not the Sony Pulse 3D wireless. I still say if you're looking for an audio upgrade, you should try the Pulse 3D. Try to get one. At the very least, the, the price point entry of $99 gets you in the door um, to where you could have a better experience. And if you have, like, don't use the TV speakers. Don't, again, don't be a gamer and use the TV speakers. That's almost sacrilegious. Oh, just thinking about it. I'm going to pray for you. I'm, I'm really going to pray. But look at this, like this bootleg keyboard and stuff like that. Like I've never heard of this brand. I've never heard of this brand. Never heard of them. What was the habit? Got to have it. I don't know. I, I don't know if I got to have it. Lightning deal. People buying it though. That's the thing with prime day. People just buy stuff and it's like not even stuff that's necessary. But again, nothing that's compatible with PS5. Hell, I don't even see anything that's compatible with Xbox Series S or X. An Xbox One charging station. I'm sure you could give those joints away. Uh, random headsets, random headsets. A Nintendo Classic controller. Maybe that works with like the Switch or maybe the NES Classic physical console if you still have one of those. I, guess I saw some Switch accessories, right? Like AC adapter for Switch. That would be good um, if you needed it. Skins, you know, skins for controllers. Save on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Prime member exclusive. Save on PlayStation Now, 12 month subscription digital code. How much is this price? Your price at checkout, 41. CD now has 12 months of PlayStation now for 30 bucks. Again, that's not bad. That's not a bad price. I've seen better. I've seen better days. How much is a three months one? Three months is regular price. How much is one month? No. 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 Now. You want to talk about a good deal. This is a good deal. This is a good deal. Where's the PlayStation 4 one? Oh, they sold out of the play. Ah! They sold out of the PlayStation 4. Okay. Okay. So earlier I had talked about on Twitter how this game was 20 bucks. Again, free upgrade to the PS5. Uh, yeah, the PS4 version is sold out. Sold out. And the Switch version is sold out too, isn't it? Yep. Of the standard edition. Standard, standard edition. This version, I'm probably going to cop because, again, um, I had copped MK11 last year. I just didn't have time to play it, so I ended up selling it. And I was like, well, let me get it for the PS5. Then they, then they had talked about the Aftermath collection. I'm, I, I think this can get down to $34.99. I might be greedy and say $29.99. If this gets to $34.99 or lower by Thanksgiving, a hoe is doing the Jim Cramer and but if you are in the market, right, like for MK11 and you don't want to wait, that's a great, that's a great price. I, I, 
I think it could be better. But everybody's paper situation is different. Same for Last of Us. Again, it's it's $20 off. I, I think this can get down to $29.99. I think it will get down to $29.99. Uh, by Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna play the waiting game. Ghost Recon, no, but, no, no, no. but like these HyperX, right? Like these HyperX headsets. You know, your price at checkout, buck nineteen. Are these, you know, headsets seven point one surround thirty hour battery life, key wireless charging, compatible with PC and PS4. Here's the other thing, though. It's like we don't know what's going to happen with PS5. You could assume that this headset would work on PS5. You could very well assume that. Um, the question is, do you want to take that chance? Headsets are investments. Headsets, a lot of times, are the cost of two, three games. So I would just hope that in terms of your headset, you would make the right decision for you and your personal needs. Just me. Just me. But they had some deals on some headsets. Here's another one here. This is a, this is a wired headset. Yeah, this looks wired to me. PC gaming headset. All right, like, nothing was smacking me. Nothing was smacking me in the face. Who is this wannabe Ashley Simpson? No, ma'am. She ain't live. That's a replay. Don't let them fool you. That is a rerun. Uh, but they had some deals like on some gaming mouses and things like that. Like I picked up a mouse from Best Buy that looked like a decent price. I just don't, I don't see anything that's like phone, phone home, ET phone home. Um, if you are a PC gamer and you're in the market for a PC headset or a new gaming keyboard or stuff like that, there are some pretty good deals out right now. I would say take advantage of, I would say cross check between Amazon, Best Buy, uh, and try to price match. Um, Definitely, for sure. Uh, 12 months on the Switch. What is this? Memory card. And a year. So th this is usually e oh, e eShop. Maybe you can get that. Oh, the family membership. That looks like the regular one's 20 bucks. Oh, unavailable. Sold out. That deal sold out. Crickets. Crickets, y'all. I didn't see anything that, yeah, on all these other deals have ended. I don't see anything that's just like, screaming at me and maybe I need to go to computers to see like the monitors. Maybe that's where they put the gaming monitors, but there's just nothing that's screaming at me. It's always like third party accessories or third party hoopla of stuff that doesn't make any sense. Like why do you need a carrying case? No one's going anywhere. I'm sure Amazon has a 50,000 square foot warehouse that's dedicated to carrying cases. It's like nobody's going anywhere. 20% off of select Samsung monitors. Yeah, right? Like 24 inches, 1080p, 75 hertz, right? So I'm looking for a 1440p, 144 hertz monitor that can be compatible with G-Sync. Because my graphics card's an NVIDIA graphics card. So, if you see some deals, holler at your girl. But again, all these 1080p monitors, I'm just, again, I'm thinking about future proofing, right? Just like if you secured a PS5 pre order and you're playing on a 1080p television, that's a Destiny's Child. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We don't do that. Not in this house. Not in this house. It's like let's go let's go to gaming monitors. Size is decent, hertz is decent, no bueno. G sync size 1080p, no bueno. It's hard out here in these streets. I, again, I'm going to have to wait till closer to Thanksgiving to kind of find the monitor that I want and the price range I'm willing to pull the trigger at. Hey! Hey! Ah! Uh, it's 1080p. I got excited for like half a second. I was like, oh! 
minus 1083. Tier. Tier shed down my face. I'm not trying to spend three, four, five hundred bucks on like I would like to keep it under three hundred, real talk. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. 27 inch. It's only 60 hertz, but it does G-Sync, 4K Ultra HD, 60. 700. This is a PlayStation 5 physical and four games. No. The deals are tough. The deals are tough. So next steps for you all are going to be keep your ears and nose to the ground on Thursday. for t Thursday as in tomorrow um, to see if GameStop puts out the information for the pre-order. I think it's going to happen this Friday. Um, even if they don't put any information out, I would try to pre-order a console this Friday. Even if it means going to the store and trying to do it. Real talk. Unless they put out the official announcement that it's going to be next week. My gut is telling me it's going to be on Friday. This Friday. Okay, ladies and gents, I reach to identify. I have enjoyed this time on Wednesday. We stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 6 p.m. E uh, Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. If GameStop does not drop a third final wave of pre-orders come Friday, or if there's not any like extremely, extremely pressing PlayStation 5 news, I will be streaming... Um, I will be streaming, um, I can't even think, Dead by Daylight uh, in honor of October and Halloween. And some of my PC gaming friends have got me on that game. Shout out to Rose War V. You can follow their channel on Twitch. Uh, they've kind of got me on that game, and I'm, I'm fairly intrigued. I'm intrigued. I guess that's the best way to say it. But we will be back on Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time. I appreciate you all. Make sure you like, follow, share if you care because a hoe is trying to grow. Uh, and, and again, I'm just here to help you secure your PlayStation 5 pre-order. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else for me to do but to help you secure your PS5 pre-order. Right? That's, and, and to avoid the scalpers. <laughs> if you can avoid the scalpers, uh, then, then I've done my job. I've done my job. I've done my job. Awesome. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday evening. You please take care. You please stay safe. Please wash your hands for goodness sake. Uh, and we will see you Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Take care. Stay safe. You can follow us on Twitch. I will continue to be doing updates there as well. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about it on Friday, whatever happens. All right. You all take care. Take care. We'll see you Friday. 9 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Pacific. Twitch and YouTube. It's Girl Alley A. Two hoes in a console. Stay safe, stay blessed. One love. A hoe. Baby, I've been so confused. Just heard some crazy news. So much to think about. Won't you? No, no.